You're welcome to this week's Reflection. And this weekend, we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, which takes place 50 days after Easter Sunday. It is a very special feast in the life of the church and the Christian community. And it represents the official birthday of the church. The advocate promised by Jesus enters the believing community to guide and direct and support them in their daily life. We recall the frightened group of apostles feeling very much alone and fearful when Jesus went home to his father in heaven. He had promised them many times before leaving that he would not leave them alone, that when he would go to the father, they would send the spirit who would be with them always. He said to them, peace be with you, don't be afraid. We will send the Spirit who will be with you always. But despite that, they were afraid. They feared the unknown and what lay ahead of them. And they disappeared into an upper room to pray. And they gathered together around Mary, the mother, of Jesus. Then the breath of the Spirit filled the whole room and rested on each one of them in the form of tongues of fire. They were immediately empowered. Their despair turned into hope, their fear into courage, their anxiety into peace and their sorrow into joy. They were no longer afraid. They were transformed by the power of the Spirit and they left the room and went out amongst the people, sharing their experience and the gifts they had received from the Spirit. Sharing them with the entire community of people. Now the Pentecost experience is not a once-off event. We are all missionary disciples, and we too are called and are sent out to bring the presence of Christ and the gospel message wherever we go. Into our homes, our lives, our communities, families, and places of work. And we too need to gather together in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus, if our work is to bear fruit. Remember, Jesus said, Abide in me. The branch separated from the vine will not bear much fruit. So let us go, like the apostles, and bring the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness of Christ with us wherever we go. And I will end now with a prayer of St. John Henry Newman, his favorite prayer. He's now a saint. Come Holy Spirit, make our ears to hear, make our eyes to see, make our mouths to speak, make our hearts to seek, and make our hands reach out and touch the whole world with your love. Amen.